All right, here's a, here's a feel-good story to end, uh, to end this. So uh, a young boy um, over the last three years uh, suffered from all kinds of pains uh, and, and uh, all kinds of other behavioral issues, chewing issues, other issues, began chewing things, uh, just strange combination of symptoms. Uh, for three years, his parents, uh, his mother's, uh, be trying to figure out what, what's wrong with him. Taking him 17 different doctors, all kinds of treatments. Nothing was helping. I mean, the poor kid was in constant pain. I mean, the doctors basically said, give him Motrin. Give it, Motrin seemed to help. Give him Motrin. Just give him Motrin whenever he's in pain. But no solution to the problem. No, no evaluation. No idea of what the diagnosis actually was. Anyway, she got frustrated. Uh, she signed up for chat GPT. Uh, she took all the uh, medical reports and the MRIs, and she put, to the best of her understanding, everything she could from those into chat GPT and asked chat GPT for a diagnosis. ChatGPT came back with the, the, with the idea that the kid had what's called tethered cord syndrome. This is a spinal cord issue. She then went, she, she did some research about tethered cord syndrome. She found other parents with kids that had the syndrome. She found that the symptoms that their kids had were similar to the symptoms her child had. She then found a, a neurologist who specialized or, or had some expertise in this field. She took her child there. Uh, the, uh, the, the doctor took one look at the MRI and confirmed chat GPT's diagnosis of tethered cord syndrome. The child has recently gone, underwent gone surgery to fix the syndrome and is expected to make a full recovery and be pain-free from now on. I mean, wow. Wow. Not surprising. Not shocking. But wow. Super cool. This is the promise. This is the promise. And uh, now, it's true that ChatGPT, some of the time, makes stuff up, talks nonsense. They're calling it ChatGPT hallucinate, hallucinates. But... Even if just one out of five are this good, that's okay. I'll take the error rate. I'll take the errors. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I am looking forward to the day where ChatGPT, I don't think replaces our doctors, but is another tool that they have, uh, enhances their abilities. Uh, in, if, in certain areas in medicine that this is definitely going to happen and it's it, it, it as you can see it's already happening to some extent and the potential is there for it to happen uh it, you know even even to a greater extent so uh, i'm excited uh, i think it's a it's a it's an amazing technology with unlimited potential just unlimited potential